uh hi everyone so today uh we'll discuss about sap gui or sap logon pad installation right so we have in the marketplace so these are the guis are available so these are the so this we have to install in the presentation layer so where we can log in from so from the sap gui to sap application server so if you want to launch sap application server application means sap screen if you want to launch sap screen you need sap gui gui means graphical user interface okay so so now we see how to install this sap gui so log into the service marketplace log into the service marketplace from there you can see the versions here so what so we have to download right we have to download the versions so you can see here currently we have sap gui for windows so this is the 770 is available here 770 is available here in the marketplace so r 780 783 780 also available here so you can see otherwise you can search it here sap gui sap gui for some windows so you will see the versions here you will see the versions here we have 7.70 r so 8.00 the versions are available here so we'll go for n minus one approach 7.70 this is a successful version everyone every customers they are using for their so client emissions for 7.70 just open this one then just download this one just download this one then you can see here when you are downloading it will download as one zip file or download as the zip file this one right just open the this zip file here i have downloaded here then extract it you know right extract all so then the zip file will be extracted then open the folder open the so inside of the folder here so here go to the gui windows win32 here you can see setup all setup all dot exe just double click on it so here it's saying that do you want to open the silent mode or so do you want to go server mode now so no which means server mode means back end it will be installed so silently it will be installed in the back end just click on the no button it will give the prompt us it will give the prompt us sometimes normally some organizations we have to install it manually in our desktops otherwise some organizations it will be deployed automatically by their it teams so for safer side if you know this concept so we are good enough right just click on the next button just to close it then select the sap gui so if you have this add-ons so pdf print some works so if you have this one you can select these things as well so if you don't have snc then if you don't have some other uh, uh, functionality these are the functionality if you don't have anything just select the sap gui just click on the ok button then just click on the next button okay then the installations will be start right so this sap gui installation preparation activities are the some free space required at a windows level linux also we can do the installation the mandatory thing is so there is a vc runtime there is a binary vc vc runtime binary we have to install it without this one this vc this is called the c plus plus uh, so visual c plus plus binary this is one of the add-on it's required on top of the your operating system so without this one it cannot be installed so make sure you have already this uh, virtual runtime, virtual this distribution already installed. Then the installation will be continued. See how fast this is getting installed, how fast this is getting installed. So like that, we have to install the SAP GUI. We can installation is successfully completed. Then just to close it, then go to, so now go to the, your desktop. There is an icon will be installed here. See here, this is the icon, SAP GUI icon, SAP logon icon. So using this icon only, using this software only, we have to log into the our SAP systems. Okay, so make sure 
So you have to configure the entries here. You have to configure the entries here. Suppose example. So suppose example, if you see, if you want to change the design, theme design settings. Suppose you want to signature theme. If you want to some other blight themes, some blue crystal themes, you can change the signatures. So font settings, if anything, you want to change the font, you can change it, right? So there are color settings. You have the, some color settings also here available. So here color settings also available. You can change the, if you go to the, go to the here, SAP GUI, here you have the three bars, options, then here, so you can change the settings. You can change the settings here. So whatever you want to change it, you can change the settings and everything here. Traces for the, where the logs will be stored. Security, logon options. Here, you can see here, here are the configuration files. SCP UI.XML file. So this is the XML file location. Some organization, the XML file location, we have to change it. Then go to the here. You can just change the, the path. Some organization, there is centralized location. We have to change it. So you have to type it. So you have to change the location to here, right? You have to change the location here. Then all SAP GI entries, all the SAP systems will be populated here, will be appeared here. So for that one, what you have to do, you have to go to the here, options, then so uh, go to the SAP logon options, configuration files. Here you need to change the so configuration file. So currently this is configured the local. If you have already there, some, some organizations, they will maintain the centralized. Centralized, they will maintain it. So that for that one, you need to configure the, the centralized path here. Automatically, GI will pick it out. Then you can do that one. So whatever the entries are you are configuring in the SAP logon fad, all will be recorded in the in the UI landscape.xml file to be recorded. Right? After you changes of the, this configuration file, either locally or globally, just click on the apply and OK. Then close it. Then open it. Then the entries will be populated here. The appeared here. The SID systems will be appeared here. Okay. Now you see the theme is changed. I changed it to the different theme. Now theme is changed. So like that, you need to adjust your uh, login pad settings based upon the requirement, right? Some organizations locally, we have to configure it. Some organizations, they are central, centralized. They will maintain the UI landscape, XML file and everything. For that one, you need to configure the path and everything. Just click on that one. You will see the entries here. You will see the entries here. Okay. This is the way we have to install the SAP, SAP login pad. And if you want to any to change the options, you can change it. If you want to create the entry, just click on the, click on the connection. Then next, here you can enter the description of the application server name, SAP, and application server name, where you installed the SAP, instance number, SID, you have to enter it. Just click on the finish button, then the entry will be populated here. Then if you double click it, you will log into the SAP screen. Right. Make sure before you configuring, you have the all the parameters should be in the so one notepad. Otherwise, so you need to search it. So here, like suppose like SAP ECC description, you can put anything like SAP ECC development. Okay. Then application server name, SAP Windows, suppose like where the host name, instance number, suppose like the instance number we will give during the installation. So SID, ECD, we can put it out like our SID is the ECD. Then this way we can configure it. So here if you have the SNC already enabled, so you have to enable it. If you don't have SNC, this one, the network settings, you can configure it. Click on the next button. Then the language, suppose if you have default is the English, if you want to different language, you can select the different languages here. Then click on the finish button, the entry will be populated here. So like that, we need to add the entries here. Okay. So thank you.